mics, camera, action. Let's go fishing. There we go, first fish of the day. What do we got going on here? Wrapped up in the transducer cord. Let's get him out. Oh, look at that. Nice perch to start the day. I was doing a little scouting and all of a sudden I turned around and the tip up was down. There we go. That's a great way to start the day. Let's get him back in the water. There he goes. Outstanding. Well, here it is everybody. The long awaited release of the tip down. First, I'm gonna start off by getting this little minnow hooked up here. And all I'm doing is hooking him right by the dorsal fin. Not so I get him, just so he's got a lot of action. We'll set him in the water for a minute. And I'm gonna show you guys what we got going on here. So what we got today is the long awaited. I know last time we had a little couple bugs to work out of it. We got the bugs worked out. The thing is working flawlessly. It's a hard maple tip down, solid wood. It's got a great base built on it, all screwed together. So if it does freeze in, you're not gonna have any issues, you know, giving it a little kick to pop that sucker out. Lock it down with a wing nut here. And basically what we've got is I've notched this out for the rod to fit in up here. And what we do is we set the rod in there and as the fish comes up and pulls it, he's pulling that down. And what I've built into this is a counterweight to allow that reel to transition flawlessly. Um, so let's get this set up and let's get another one. So I've got my Vexlar today and Let's get him back in the water there. Had a little bit of line mess up there. And I'm setting him just about a foot off the bottom. So I let him go down there. Set him about a foot off the bottom. And all I'm doing is just setting it in there. And when the fish does come up, he's just gonna take that down nice and easy, just like you saw there. And the, ba the best part of this is, is you get to fight him on the rod and the reel. I mean, you pick them up, you set the hook, you're fighting them on the rod and the reel. I mean, you don't have line laying all over the place. You're getting the best of all worlds. So let's catch another one. All right, got one down here. Take it slowly, slowly. Set the hook. But I found out with these, it works really nice with the softer tip, the light action. <laughs> we had our first walleye of the day and he popped off. <laughs> oh well. We'll get him next time. There we go. He's got it. We're letting him take it down. Just gonna slowly take this out of here and miss him. <laughs> oh well, that's all part of it. Got another one going down here. Just letting them take it down. That soft tip rod really gives you a little forgiveness. And set the hook. Get a little redemption here and get this one out of, out of the water. There's a, another little walleye. Nice. to you guys.
We'll get him back in. Let him get a little bigger. There he goes. Well, guys, looks like we're going to wrap it up today. We did get out. We caught some fish. Um, the tip down, a 100% absolute success. Super impressed with the modifications that I've done. Um, I'm just very happy with the way everything did turn out on it. Uh, I will have these for sale on my website, Crafty Angler. So I will be linking that down below. I have limited quantities to start out, being that I am building these all by scratch myself um, and starting out a, a brand new business venture. Um, I appreciate everybody tuning in. Uh, there's one, you know, a couple things that I'd like to go over with the rod quick is I've noticed if uh, like a 30 inch light or a 30 inch medium, it's probably about as long as you want to go. Um, I noticed you can go down, you know, to the 28 to 26, uh, whatever you have. Um, you can adjust the fine tuning with where you would set your reel on there. Um, the other couple nice things that I like with these tip downs is when, you know, you got to be paying attention with these. And if you're all of a sudden turn away and you turn back and, oh, I got a fish there. You know, and that, that, that's what I really wanted to do is replicate um, from the tip, other tip downs. But, the originals, but you have the option here is you pull it out, set the hook, and fight it. I mean, they, you, you can't just beat that. Um, so I appreciate everybody tuning in. Um, if you really like what you're seeing, please subscribe. Uh, I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to build a channel of uh, fishing on top of um, building these tip downs. And like I said, I'm just out there trying to, you know, tweak things, make things a little better, a little easier. So thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you on the next side. Any questions, please feel free to ask. Also, if you guys can think of a name for this guy, uh, also put it in the comments down below. I'm looking for a name right now. It's a Crafty Angler Tip Down, um, but always open to changing it up and stuff. So thank you very much, and we'll catch you guys again.